Hello everyone and welcome back to the fourth tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to make different kinds of splines. I'm going to teach you saber splines, normal splines, 3D stroke splines and some effects you can put on them. Okay, for the normal splines, you have to go to the pen tool, click it, disable the fill by clicking on the word fill and then click here. And then you can make a path for the spline. You can do that by clicking and holding your left mouse button. So now I'm holding it and now I'm holding it again and I'm just dragging it around the screen. Okay, so I've made my spline, but I'm not really happy with my thickness and color of the spline. So we can change that by clicking on this and type in the thickness of the spline. Here you can change the color by clicking on this. Okay, now we have our spline, but first we need to animate it. So click on this triangle, click on add and then add trim path. Open the trim paths and set the end to zero. Then you want to go to the beginning of the composition and click on the start and end stopwatch. Now you want to think about how long you want to have the spline on your screen. I want to have a two, three seconds, so I want to go to two. Then I want to set the start and the end to 100%. Now we want to select the lower keyframes and then drag them a bit to the right. And if you preview, preview it, you can see this. If you want to make the spline shorter or longer, you can select these two keyframes and drag them around. Now it goes slower and now it goes faster. To make the spline a bit more smooth, you can select everything and click on F9. To make the spline mirrored, just simply click on the shape layer, click on Ctrl and D at the same time, press R and then make this 180 degrees. Okay, now on to the 3D stroke splines. First make a solid, the color doesn't matter, and then search up 3D stroke from Red Giant Trap Code and apply it. Now you want to make your path. You can make your path by drawing the path on the solid while having it selected, so it's a mask. Now you can change the thickness, I'm gonna do it 50. You want to go to taper and enable it. Click on both stopwatches and go to the beginning of the composition. Now you want to go to about 2 seconds, drag the start all the way up to 100. Now you want to go to the starting keyframes and you want to make the start and the end both zero. And now you want to go to this keyframe and make it 100. Now select the upper two keyframes and drag them to the right. Now you have a 3D stroke spline. Now for the saber spline, right click in your composition and make a new solid. Search for the saber spline and apply it to your layer. Once again make a path. Okay, now we have our path. You can select one of these keyframes. I'm gonna do mist. Click on customize core, core type layer mask, and then you already have this nice line. Okay, you want to go to zero seconds again, the beginning of your composition. Click on the stopwatch at end offset and start offset. Then click the layer and press U. Then go to about 2 seconds again and make them both 100. Now you want to select the lower two keyframes again and drag them a bit to the right. Now scroll all the way down, go to render settings and then click on this triangle, like this. Then click on composite settings and make it transparent. Now a couple effects that you can apply to your splines. First, Turbulent displays and you can click the layer, type in cap and then you can change the cap. 
as you can see now it's round and one last effect is the drop shadow of course drag it on there and change some settings okay here we have our splines thank you for watching this tutorial and see you next time bye